Welcome to Shark Games. Today, I will be showing you guys how you can easily make 2D pathfinding in Unity. Also, I've decided that I will be staying with Unity for the near future, but I might change my opinion later on. That out of the way, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need to do is go to this website. I'll leave a link in the description. Go to download and select which version you want. I'm going to download the free version. You'll then download a Unity package. When you have your own Unity project open, you can double click on the package you just downloaded and it will show up in Unity like any other package. Now let's press import. It's time to set up the scene. First I'll create a new circle called target. I'll then change its color to be something like blue so you can see it more clearly and I'll change its position to the top left corner of the screen. Next I'll make another circle, this time called AI and I'll make it red. Let's move it to the bottom right corner of the screen. I'll now make a square object called obstacle and make it black. I'll make it a bit bigger and copy and paste it a couple of times into the scene between the AI and the target. Now let's create a new empty game object, which I'll just call Pathfinder. Let's add the Pathfinder component to this object. I'll then click to expand the graphs and create a new grid graph. I'll then enable 2D and make sure the nodes fill the screen. Then let's also enable use 2D physics. Now let's go to one of our obstacles and add a new layer. I'll call this layer obstacles. Then I'll select all obstacles and add that layer to them. Let's also add a 2D box collider to all obstacles. This will be used so the Pathfinder object can detect the obstacles. Let's go back to the Pathfinder object and add the obstacle layer mask. I'll select the obstacles layer that I just created. I'll set collider type to circle and then down here I'll press scan. You can now see where the AI can walk, which is the blue area, and where it can't, which is the gray area. We're now almost done with the pathfinding. Let's now set up our AI. I'll select the AI object and add the AI path component to it. You can see that a seeker component will automatically be added as well. This is fine, you can just leave it be. I'll then go to the orientation and change it to the one made for 2D games. Now the gizmo surrounding the object will fit correctly. You can change any other setting you like, but for now I'll just leave it like this. Now it's time to do a little bit of coding. Let's make a new script called AI agent and add it to the AI object. Let's now first remove some things we don't need and also import the pathfinding library. Now that let's create a couple of variables. I'll first create a private AI path called path and a serialized field private float called move speed. And then I'll create a serialized field private transform called target. The path variable will be the AI path script connected to this object. The move speed float will be the speed at which the AI moves towards the target and the target is, you guessed it, the target. I make the move speed and target variables private with a serialized field in front of them so I can edit them in the inspector without having to make everything public. Let's assign the path variable through the start function. I'll create a private void start and then in there I'll say path equals get component AI path. Let's now make the AI walk towards the target. This is very easy to do. All you really need to do is assign the target to the path component. I'll also make sure the speed of the AI is set correctly. First I'll create a private void called update and in there I'll first set the speed by doing path.max speed equals move speed and then I'll say path.destination equals target.position. Let's now go back into Unity. I'll drag and drop the target object into the correct variable slot. Make sure you also set the move speed variable to a number that fits with your game. I'll just do something like tree on the AI path component and disable gravity, otherwise your AI will just fall down. But be sure to have that activated if you do want gravity. If you now press play, you can see that the AI will move towards the target. There's still a bit of an issue. When the AI reaches the target, it will just move into him, which might not be what you want. To fix this, we're going to calculate the distance between the AI and the target, and once the distance is small enough, he will stop moving. This is very easy to do in code. I'll first create two new variables. I'll create a serialized field, private float, called stop distance threshold, and then a private float called distance to target. Now let's calculate the distance to target and make the AI behave according to that value. In the update function, I'll set distance to target equals factor 2 that distance between transform that position and target that position. After that I'll check if distance to target is smaller than stop distance threshold and I'll say path.destination equals transform that position so it won't move towards the target anymore and also if that's not true then I'll say path.destination equals target that position so it will move, start moving towards the target again. Let's go back into Unity and test it out. Let's first set stop distance threshold to something small like 2 and then press play. You can see that it works correctly now. When you try and move the player, the AI will also immediately start following again. Alright, that's it for today. If you want to see how you can easily make pathfinding in 3D, then I also have a video on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please consider liking and subscribing since so it really helps me out. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.